Hello everybody and welcome to my cooking channel. What you making Dave? Today we're gonna make a lovely Mediterranean treat. We call it garlic sauce. Other people call it tzatziki. So it's a beautiful Mediterranean sauce and it has some lovely sour cream and yogurt, some cucumbers that are very very well squeezed out. You want to get as much juice out of the cucumbers that were grated as you possibly can. And when you're done, think you can get as much juice as you can out, do it a couple more times. We've got freshly squeezed lemon, a little salt and pepper, and fresh minced garlic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this all into our lovely stainless steel mixing bowl and uh, show you how easy it is to put together. So we're gonna start with the sour cream. Then we're gonna add just a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, maybe another pinch. We're gonna add the cucumber. We're going to add a little bit of our lemon juice and we're going to add our garlic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up until it is extremely well mixed. Then after we're done this, I'm actually going to put a little bit more lemon in because I like mine a little bit more lemony. And uh, after we're done mixing this, we're going to cover, put it in the fridge and uh, let sit probably for about 15-20 uh, minutes just to make sure all the garlic and the flavors and the lemon are melted together very nice and later on in this video I'm going to be making some chivapi and uh, fresh pita bread to go along with this lovely tzatziki we'll see you in a few Okay everyone, welcome back. What we're gonna do here is, I made some dough, um, and I'm gonna roll it out and form it into a pita and show you how I do it. So right now, I'm just gonna go around in circles and make it about all the same width when I go around. So I'm gonna do this a couple times. And I'm gonna put it on here and use my rolling pin. Well, we're almost done. We don't want to roll it too flat for the pitas. But we don't want it too thick at the same time. A little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a fork. And we're going to go like this. Because I don't have a docker on me, I will go old school and just do it this way. It looks kind of nice too when it comes out. Then I'm going to take this. Stretch it out just a little bit more, put it on our baking tray. Then I'm going to take a little bit of our oil and spice mixture and put it on top. Make sure to coat right out into the edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other one, stretch it out, pop into the oven, 
and we will be right back to show you our lovely homemade pita bread okay everybody welcome back there are our lovely pitas so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, make a plate for my girlfriend because she's very hungry and you have to treat your lovely camera person very well an editor and sound designer and closed captioner and well you guys get the picture so I'm just gonna plate this quickly noticed but I made some uh, lovely chivapi over here that I'm gonna put on the plate and this is uh, a dish that I learned how to make when I was in Croatia in Zagreb I was in a little town called even each grad and I was drinking at the pub with a couple of friends and uh, they didn't have a kitchen but uh, basically what they do is they order from the train station and uh, that's the first time I had a traditional chivapi in a train station in a little town in Croatia called Ivanichgrad. Bon appetit. I hope you enjoy. This is chivapi, homemade garlic sauce, as well as homemade pita bread. Hope you enjoy. Mm. 